Hey guys, it's Ransom here from RacketNut.com. Um, today I want to show you how far do you take your racket back. I get this question a lot, um, especially from a lot of beginner players who haven't played. You know, how far do you take it back? Um, number one thing, actually, unit turn, kind of that, that move made me think of it, um, is when you turn, turn your whole body. A lot of beginners, they'll just drop the hand back, do this, and there's no unit turn. Now they're, they're going to hit the ball late because look at my contact point. Even if it's good, I look a little late. Now I look stable, balanced, and you know, right on time. Um, so how far back? Your unit turn pretty much tells you how far back. All right, so how far back? You're gonna go here, unit turn, that's about it. It shouldn't peak off, you can see it's kinda off to my left side of my body, peaking behind me. You wanna keep it all the way on the right. So the furthest take back you'll go is right about here. That's the furthest. You don't need even that much. So get it to here, try to think of keeping um, Kind of there's an invisible wall, keeping your hands on that side of the wall so it shouldn't duck behind. See how my, now there's tension in my shoulders, I'm gonna get stuck. So again, keeping those hands on this invisible wall right in front of me. Here, here I'm touching the wall, which is fine, and then getting through and I push through that wall on the follow through. So that show, should show you a pretty good view. How far do you take your rack back? Now again, I'm not gonna go here, I'm gonna go unit turn, and that's what gets it back. Okay, so whatever unit turn, now if I want to go even further, I have to unit turn, now I'm obviously looking away from my target. So that's a good example, is turn your body to get the racket back, not your arm. All right, good luck guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna be popping out some more content a little more rapidly so you guys can learn tennis quickly.